How the heck are you crazy creeps? I do apologize for the noise. We are currently standing on the Selwood Bridge and directly behind me sits downtown Portland. And Portland has had a tremendous amount of famous folks that have done a lot for the city, including none other than one of my favorite artists of all time, Mr. Will Vinton. He's actually buried right up in those hills at Riverview Cemetery, and that's where we're creeping to today to pay our respects and really just visit one of my favorite people of all time, Mr. Will. William Gale Vinton, California Raisins, The Noid, a ton more. Stay tuned, you're not gonna wanna miss this one. Yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous today. Everybody out on their boat, enjoying the water. Really nice shot of downtown. And that's where we're heading, is right up those hills to Riverview Cemetery. Excited for this one. Just coming down off the Selwood Bridge here. And like I said, a ton of folks buried here. A lot of very prominent people. Portland's oldest cemetery, Riverview, is also the final resting place for very celebrated citizens. Please feel free to respectfully explore this lovely site. And a little bit more info, but yeah, a ton of folks are buried here. So today we're gonna go and visit the final resting place to none other than Will Vinton the creator of the California Raisins, the Noids, the M&Ms, just a ton of awesomeness. I'm gonna tell you more about him. Really, just pay our respects. And it's just more so, I just really wanna see and visit him and talk with him. All right, I was wondering if this was gonna be okay, but it does say, attention bicyclists, ride slowly, 15 miles an hour, yield to visitors and only cycle through the designated route. No riding outside the cemetery when the gates are closed and the gates are open. So we're gonna maneuver in now. There's also a call box here if I think if you wanna call the office. But yeah, we're gonna pedal our way up these big hills. So yeah, there's a lot of folks up here biking this morning. And this place is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, some of these headstones here. We've been here many of times. It's just been a while. But I love that these, most of the headstones here are those big upright. Really cool looking ones. And of course, as we get up a little bit higher, we're gonna be able to get the views Absolutely beautiful views. Well, hi, little buddy. All right, moving on. So the good folks here have always been so good to me. I've done many vlogs from here before as well. Really? Oh yeah, um, a ton actually. But we were able to yeah, right there. dial it in. So grave one. 214 and you said this is called a natural burial oh, natural burial interesting very cool those are like kind of the new age burials right i mean people yeah. are just starting to do those yeah that is so that's so We're, real venton he's he was always like on to the next thing yeah so even after death he's like he that's had so it. cool he had it he wow so that was a journey but well worth it did you come pay our respects to the final resting place to none other than Will Vinton. And I don't even know where to begin because as a kid, 88, 89, it was very my very first love for cartoons, for artwork, claymation. Obviously years later, The Simpsons are my love now, but I really don't think I would appreciate art and cartooning and everything if it wasn't for Will being one of the very first people to kind of trademark the claymation, which was the stop motion animation years before, you know, with Godzilla and things. 
others doing it, but him kind of really giving it the life it never had, creating the California Raisins, the Domino's Pizza Noid, and just a handful of other things. And I'm pretty emotional standing here, I have to say, checking in at the office. She did tell me, I kind of was like, uh oh, maybe I, maybe I got the wrong information. And when she told me, yes, he is laid to rest here, it really hit me differently. So I really just want to really just give it a moment of peace to really thank Will for everything, everything that he helped create, all the people that he put to work. In fact, I even have my Hey Arnold shirt on. If you guys know the history of that, we did a full vlog about Craig Bartlett, the creator of Hey Arnold. It started as a, as a claymation character at the Will Vinton Studios in Northwest Portland. And he helped pave the way for a lot of folks. So I'm just gonna kind of stand here for a moment and really just take this in and just really thank Will for being such a huge part of my childhood. In fact, I'm gonna fix these flowers here for these folks. But yeah, here he is in his final resting place. One of my favorite people ever. William Gale Vinton and the folks here were telling me that this is just a temporary marker. Um, he did pass away in 2018, so I'm not quite sure what the family has to say or, you know, what what the reason why the headstone hasn't been placed here, but there probably is a, a reason behind that. But they were also telling me in the office that Will chose to have a natural burial. So always... Always cool, always innovative, always on to the next thing. I was so honored to be invited to Clay Dream, which was one of Will's last uh, projects that he worked on with his son Jesse. I actually met Jesse. We actually went and videoed that, so make sure you guys check that out. But everybody there wore the classic Will mustache button. They were giving them out. And uh, my buddy Kevin was able to catch up with him he worked for will went on to work went on now works for disney and you know everything now that you see with the other studios none of that would have happened if it wasn't for will and everybody you know at the old studios so yeah like i said definitely an emotional moment for me kind of standing here one of my very first loves, the California Raisins. And as a kid, I had no idea that he was from Portland. I didn't find that out until years later, not knowing that the studio was so close. That would have been like going to Disneyland. In fact, Will had plans to make kind of its own Disneyland style theme park right in the heart of Portland. It never really came to fruition, but how cool would that have been to see Real life California raisins running around, the Noid coming through with pizza, bugging everybody. I just loved his creativeness and just his personal personality and the way he treated everybody at his shop. And if you guys haven't seen the movie Clay Dream, you have to, have to, have to see it if you love anything that has to do with Will Vinton, you know, anything that he created over his time. And really was ahead of the times. He was his next kind of big move was to get on board with the computer animated style hence the raisins or hence the M&Ms that looked a lot like the raisins and I just want to really say thank you man and I love you I love you for all of you've done for Portland putting us on the map at such an early time and all the art that you did and I love meeting your son I really wish I would have been able to to meet you. That's one thing that uh, never happened. I never actually got to meet Will. I went to a couple of the Leica Studio things that they had at the Portland Art Museum and they rarely gave him, you know, really the respect that he deserved. He only had like a little tiny spot and those the studio would have never been anything without will so 
there you have it. Like I said, I'm definitely emotional. I'm very happy to have found it and pay my respects. So it's just kind of bittersweet. Um, and like I said, I'm not really here to deep dive into, you know, all the history and all the dates and when everything took place. But I'm more so here to just really pay our respects to him and thank him for everything. Oh, yeah. I brought something for you, too, Will. We were lucky enough to get this purchase for us back in 19 well but give or take 87 88 and I've had this this whole time and part of me didn't want to part with it just because I've had it for so long I actually have another another version I, I have the same raisin at home but I wanted to bring this to you will and leave it with you here and just just tell you that I love you and you're you're very well missed so we're gonna go ahead and just we're gonna go ahead and just leave this raisin with you like this and uh, yeah Yeah, I'm hoping to see. Well, maybe he went with that on for a reason. Maybe he didn't want a headstone. Maybe with the natural burials, that's just kind of how they do it. But I was very happy to be able to come up here today and visit him. Like I said, absolutely loved the raisins. The Noid was comical. All his creations just were so incredibly awesome. So I'm glad to have been able to come up here today. And that's going to do it from Riverview Cemetery here in beautiful Portland, Oregon. The home to many great people, including William, Gail, Vinton, Will Vinton. Love you. Creeper out for now. Peace. I heard it through the grapevine. How much longer would you be my baby?